NASA has confirmed the largest icy comet nucleus ever seen, while new measurements of an elementary particle known as W boson has shaken up the world of physics. These are some of the stories that I talk about on this episode of Scientifics. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifics, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has determined the size of the largest icy comet nucleus ever seen by astronomers. With an estimated diameter of about 128 kilometers, the nucleus of the comet is about 50 times larger than found at the heart of most known comets. Its mass is estimated to be a staggering 500 trillion tonne, a hundred thousand times more than the mass of a typical comet found much closer to the Sun. The series of images shared by NASA show how the nucleus of comet C2014 UN271 was isolated from a vast shell of dust and gas surrounding the solid icy nucleus. That's no small feat for something about 2 billion miles away. The comet is travelling towards the Earth at over 35,000 km per hour from the edge of the solar system. But it will only get as far as the planet Saturn and that won't be until the year 2031. The comet follows a 3 million year long elliptical orbit, taking it as far away from the Sun as roughly half a light year. The comet is now less than 2 billion miles from the Sun, falling nearly perpendicular to the plane of our solar system. Also this week, scientists have found that diverse microbial life existed on Earth at least 3.75 billion years ago, much earlier than previously thought. These new findings suggest that a variety of microbial life may have existed on ancient Earth, potentially as little as 300 million years after the planet formed. Before this discovery, the oldest fossils previously reported were found in Western Australia and dated at 3.46 billion years old. For the study, the team analysed a fist-sized rock from Canada, estimated to be between 3.75 and 4.28 billion years old. They found tiny filaments, knobs and tubes in the rock, which appeared to have been made by bacteria. However, not all scientists agreed that these structures were of biological origin. Now, after extensive further analysis of the rock, the team discovered a much larger and more complex structure, a stem with parallel branches on one side that is nearly a centimeter long, as well as hundreds of distorted spheres or ellipsoids alongside the tubes and filaments. The researchers say that while some of the structures could have been created through chance chemical reactions, the tree-like stem with parallel branches was most likely biological in origin as no structure created via chemistry alone has been found like that. The team also provides evidence of how the bacteria got their energy in different ways. They found mineralized chemical byproducts in the rock that are consistent with ancient microbes living off iron, sulfur, and possibly also carbon dioxide and light through a form of photosynthesis not involving oxygen. Meanwhile, scientists from Italy have discovered why Big John, the most massive triceratops skeleton ever found, has a keyhole-shaped opening in its frill. According to the team, more than 66 million years ago, Big John likely locked horns with another triceratops. The shape and size of the lesion suggests that it was caused by the horn of another triceratops of similar size. Big John measured about 8 meters long and its skull was about 2 meter wide. The skeleton discovered in South Dakota in 2014 is about 60% complete. In fact, last year, an auction house in Paris sold its fossilized remains for about $7.2 million. But before this auction, the fossil was taken to Italy, where researchers prepared the specimen and noticed the hole on the right side of its frill. This prompted scientists to study the fossil further. The wound, however, did not kill Big John. There are signs of bone healing, although the animal died before the healing was complete. The team hypothesized that an infection from the trauma may have eventually led to its death. 
Also this week, six new alpine species of Veta, giant flightless crickets, have been discovered in New Zealand. There are between 70 and 100 species of Veta endemic to New Zealand. Some of these insects are among the heaviest insects in the world, comparable to the weight of a sparrow. The alpine Veta have the impressive ability to freeze themselves solid during the harsh winter months before thawing out again in spring. However, the team also found that most of these new species are in habitats that are at risk of being wiped out due to climate change. Forests, grasslands, caves and alpine terrains once crawled with Vita, but their populations have suffered with introduction of foreign pests and increasing habitat decline due to dairy farming in the area. 16 of New Zealand's Vita species are at risk and the rest are classified as threatened or endangered. Also this week, after 10 years of careful analysis and scrutiny, an international collaboration of scientists working with researchers at the US Department of Energy's Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory achieved the most precise measurement to date of the mass of the W boson, one of the nature's elementary force-carrying particles. Using data collected by the collider detector at Fermilab, scientists have now determined the particle's mass with precision of 0.01%, twice as precise as the previous best measurement. The new precision measurement differs from what is predicted by the standard model of particle physics. The standard model is the theory that describes three of the four known fundamental forces in the universe and classifies all known elementary particles. The theory was developed through the work of many scientists worldwide throughout the later half of the 20th century. In the mid-1970s, the existence of quarks was experimentally confirmed, giving credence to the theory. The discovery of Higgs boson in 2012 was further proof in support of the standard model. But the new measurements of the W boson particles shows that there is potential need for improvements to the standard model. The new value is in agreement with many previous W boson mass measurements, but there are also some disagreements. The measurements need to be confirmed by another experiment before it can be interpreted fully. The W boson is a messenger particle of the weak nuclear force. It is responsible for nuclear processes that make the sun shine and particles decay. Using high energy particle collisions produced by the Tevatron Collider at Fermilab, the collaboration collected huge amounts of data containing W bosons from 1985 to 2011. The mass of a W boson is about 80 times the mass of a proton. The latest mass measurement pegs W boson's mass at about 80,433 MeV per C square, which is about 70 MeV more than what it was predicted. That's all for this week. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.